uh, question of this paragraph, which says that given a deficiency in the tetra hydrobiotype, right? So because we have already studied in the paragraph, this is a key factor of what? Uh, DAH, right? This is a key factor for the DAH, okay? Then, how might one go about calculating the kinetics of the phenylalanine hydroxylase using my previous Again, this is going to be a very conceptual question. If you have understanding of the, all the microbes making families, then we can get the correct answer. Now, start reading all the options one by one. No modifications would be needed as there is no term in the methylis membrane equation corresponding to the full factor. This seems correct because in the methylis membrane equation or with the enzyme uh, inhibition, we talk about the alpha and the alpha dash, but we didn't talk about the full factor. Right now, since co factors are also substrates, the term representing substrate concentration could be used to account for co factor concentration. Have we seen this here? We have not seen this. I'm not even in any enzyme, uh, like so it is wrong. Third, the effects of the substrate would be incorporated into the co factor. Does it? No. It that has only relation with the Vmax and PT, right? So it has the substrate concentration of stuff Now the fourth option is about this reaction would exhibit non michaelis menten parameters, and so the michaelis menten equation could not be used in the case at this distance. So the point is that whether this option seems correct or not, because the first option is like quite correct to us, right? The point is that for this means uh, D also seems correct, right? And first of all, it seems correct. So the point is that if your enzyme, right, if your enzyme is not working, whether it will work in the absence of cofactor, no, right? So if the enzyme is not working, how can you use and when times, isn't it? Isn't it? We apply like the uh, mechanism and kinetics in the case of conduction inhibition. Of course, we apply. We apply high mechanism and kinetics in the general reaction process. But if the enzyme is not even working, then how could you apply the mechanism and kinetics? And so the option D looks more correct as compared to the option. So this reaction will exhibit a non michaelis menten kinetics. And so the michaelis menten equation could not be used. This is as well, conceptual question, right? And for these, all these questions, you need to be clear with the theory part first, right? Most of the person uh, of the students approach me that now we are putting theories and I'm not able to do the paragraph questions or understand the paragraph question. So when I start covering paragraph question with them, just like I'm doing for you, then they feel that there, there is something missing when they were reviewing the topic on itself. Then they prefer, now please uh, go to the entire chapter first and then we will talk about the paragraph question, right? Now, question three of who I will quote. The fourth part is, how would we expect the mutation associated with PKU to affect the rate of the reaction that lies by the nine and then trans means we are talking about P and right? How would you expect the mutation associated with PKU to 